Royalty and Miss Sancha. Well, Tony A and Royalty. I love sucking gangster dick, but I ain't Miss Sancha. Sorry to break all your hearts. What? She's not Miss Sancha? It's me. I'm Miss Sancha. You guys said I'm Miss Sancha. <laughs> you look better in person. Thank you. Wow. Nice tits. <laughs> nice tits. Re Thank really you. nice tits. Very expensive. Well, nice to meet you, Tony A. <laughs> well, nice to meet you too. You've been a big I mystery see you here. I my strip club. Yes, plenty of times. You wanted to give me a lap dance. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's bring on the real Miss <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. Someone's expensive hair. Whose hair is this? It's my hair. <laughs> okay, so is this Miss Sancha? No, this is one of Miss Sancha's uh, good friends. Okay. Miss mm -hmm. Sancha's good friends and uh, acquaintances, and um, I would say, as I call them, uh, salt patch. <laughs> Salalito. Wow, no, I'm joking, I'm joking. I am salty. I Here's promise you that. <laughs> this shit is sweet like sugar. <laughs> oh, Miss the Home Girl. Okay. Well, we're going to bring on. Okay, well, let's give her her name. This is Marky. Marky. Yeah. How are you doing? Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your you. Instagram? Let me know your Instagram. She's big on TikTok. <laughs> okay. Baby Doll Mia. Baby Doll Her Dalmia. sister left earlier because her man drove all the way from New York on his chopper <laughs> because she heard he was, she was here with Tony A. And she was going to come and eat breakfast, you know, booty and. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast? Is that what we're calling? Are we serving up breakfast? Break or bread. What? Yeah, yeah. And um, her man came on his chopper driving a wheelie and shit. Looked like the fire. What did he call that guy? Damn. Oh, uh, 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 fuck. A ghost rider. Ghost rider. Yeah. That's right. No so, shit. Okay. Anyway, so we're going to bring the real Miss Sancho right now. And I told you guys, she's a complete artist. It's not just Miss Sancho, she's also another artist. She's also a singer an actress, full thing, and now we ready to go full throttle, you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, if you guys watch the new video, you go to the lowprofilerecords.com website or go to our YouTube, check out our new baddest bitch in the neighborhood. Hopefully you guys will watch it during the breaks and during the show, after the show. Let's bring on the real Miss Sancha. Pleasure meeting you, Marky. You too. Thank you very much. Thank you. So you love second gangsta? I said, oh, nice to know. Oh, yeah. I love it. <laughs> So, who, so who's coming on? Gang banging Tony. <laughs> we gotta go gang bang right now. Yeah? I'm, I'm retired, brother. I'm, I'm, I'm already collecting. A, collect gangster dick. I'm already collecting a pension, oh, homie. Okay. Oh yeah, you're 50. I forgot your shirt. You're 52. 52 years old. Yeah, yes, sir. My grandpa. I love being a grandpa. I know you I do love too. It. I so, love it. So, okay. So who, who are we bringing in next? Come on down. Come on down. There she Ms. is. Sancha in, in the, the building. <laughs> in the motherfucking Ooh, building. We got Miss Sancha right here. And also for the fans that, that you know, we have a lot of fans that they've been asking for years. And tell them your name, your artist, girl. Well, my name is Monique Noriega. Noriega. But I go by Dia Monique and Miss Sancha. I have different sides to me, so. So Miss Sancha has one side of you. That's a, that's one side of me. That's the stripper side of me. Dope, mm -hmm. dope. Okay, now let me ask you this. How long have you been knowing Royal? And if you can remember, what year did you meet him in? I probably met Royal like in 2003 when I was doing my, my album. Okay. Working with Fingers, going up to the uh, studio there, and he would him and Low Pro would be up there. And uh, I'd go out to their studio and, you know. It would get pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, girl, I need you to be Miss Sancha. She'd be like, Royal, I'm signed. You know what I mean? I'm right. Boom. Yeah. But she goes, I love it. But yeah. And I said, I can't, you know, and she I, I go, come on, girl. And she was like, I'll do it, but you can't say it's me because you're gonna fuck up my yeah. my business. Right, right. And we didn't and her and me myself, we didn't know where this was gonna go. No. Right. But we knew that it was real. She loved it started as fun, like a, like a, like a joke. Right. Kind of like Lean Like a Cholo when they did that in Finger Studio. Right. Like, you know, it was Finger's masterpiece on that, you know? Yeah. And it started as a, come on girl, and then when she felt it, her life came real. Like it, 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 it really was 
she felt freedom in writing right. and she felt freedom in and I don't mean to talk for you but she felt freedom in being able to get out things that girls don't normally talk about yeah. and right. it was easier to talk about it because she wasn't being seen or judged as a person okay so she got to right. be free and I got to get it off like without people knowing that it was really me yeah but it was really like what I was experiencing in life as a stripper as a hustler as a, a gangster ass bitch doing shit you know setting fools up <laughs> setting setting tricks up well, getting, getting their money doing what I gotta do entrepreneur yeah exactly <laughs> there you go Tony that's, hey, that's you know right what's word. funny I'm gonna tell you guys and this is no disrespect but Capone's first tour bus, she gave it to him. That was her old tour bus. No shit. <coughs> my yeah. my investor at the time, I like when I did my first album. Yeah. I found my my mission was to find someone in the strip club that was gonna finance my album. Oh okay. And so that's what I did. I found someone in there that, that believed in me, and he put up the money, and then um, he got me a tour bus. Uh, we went on tour and everything, and then. I don't I'm gonna, know. I'm going to tell you about the tour bus. I'm going to cut you off. Okay, go ahead. Her tour bus was so sick. And I was a little jealous because we'd pull up. <laughs> I got 20 guys with me. And there's this girl <laughs> out hustling all of us. She pulls up her fingers. We're, we're, we're like all rapping. We're, we're thinking we're bad. You know, we're strapped up. And she's gold chains. <laughs> pull out the Hummer. She pulls up in the tour bus with her whole album cover on it. This is before anyone did it. This is before Capone and all the guys had their name. Or Little Rob. Anybody did it. Yeah, so she I pulls did. up and she goes, Oh, it's my tour bus. I'm like, wow. We're like, okay. And then she goes, Hold on. Pulls out a stage off the side. And the top pops it has the speak speakers already from, from the bottom, put speakers. And she performs here and performs oh, on top, top of the thing. Mm -hmm. So she would go Plus to all the festivals and perform. On top as, of the bus, like it was a stage. <laughs> wow. It had speakers, like a PA system set up on uh -huh. top. And I would perform and post up, and then just go anywhere and post up, and like we just bring a crowd. Oh shit! It was crazy. So, do you, do you happen to have any video or pictures of any of that? I stuff? do, and I'm actually putting together a documentary of my life right now. Yeah. So I'm going through footage right now, and I, I have a, some stuff of that, like me pulling up to gas stations, the lowrider shows, like different places, with the bus, and just going and performing at the top, and everyone's tripping out like. Who the fuck is this? <laughs> you know, like, yeah. So when cool. I saw that, homie, I was like, oh, my heart is going to fucking tell Roy, where's our bus? And I'm like, I could barely got us to the studio, motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah, Scooby-Doo guy. Yeah, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Push, homie. Why are we pushing? Because, you know, just to see your strength, homie, you're tough. You know? <laughs> and the motherfucker backfired. Yeah. <laughs> you know? So she's, you know, that's, that's the... The power, me and Miss Sancho would say, yeah. the power of pussy. pussy. You know, <laughs> pussy's powerful, yeah. baby. That, that is money. That is money. Run, yeah, run, exactly. Man. So, okay. So let, let me ask a question. When you first recorded that first album and you saw the response, what, what, what did you think? Like, I mean, was it, was it like, um, how would you say, fuck, these motherfuckers are really buying it. I mean, they, they're, they're really feeling it. I honestly, at that time, I was so into what I was doing with Diamonique yeah. that I wasn't really paying attention as much. We have two separate views on this. Okay. I wasn't paying attention as much. And like, because I was in my own little world, you know, like as yeah. a young artist, you know, young artists, they're like big headed, they're cocky, they Very. think they're the shit. And I was that at the Bigger time. Than my head. I was that at the time. It's and big. I was just like, you know, <laughs> but I wasn't paying no mind to it. And then, um, it was fun. I had fun doing it, and Royal came back like, "Let's do another one." I'm like, "Fuck it, like, yeah. let's do it," you know, like. And it was on the low, you know. I had I had a deal going, and he was like, "Well, we'll just let's do another one." I said, "All right, cool." It was fun. I had fun doing it. Not like I said, I was able to to get my shit off as the the stripper life that I led. Right. You know, like, and and then it just went it took off and i didn't really pay attention as much and then the third one it was like at that time i was kind of like a cross of where like with diamonique i didn't really want to um i don't know i i got tired of like everyone in my ear like oh come here come here do this do that and it, i felt like oh there was a lot of fake shit, you know like yeah the hollywood shit. 
and I was like, do I want this? Do I not? It was teeter tottering. She was yeah. talking in the Dominique world, right? Right. Yeah, like, she was right. Mainstream. Like, and I, I, I was like right there, like I could have had it, but I don't think I wanted it because I don't think I was ready for it. Yeah. And because I didn't like a lot of the things that I was experiencing with the people around me, and yeah. like, so I was like, no, fuck this, you know. So yeah. So I still did music, but I didn't like. I didn't, I, like, I, I was still doing my Diamonique thing, but I wasn't, like, pushing it as hard. I started taking, like, a backseat and doing, like, um, videos and, and editing and okay. producing Producer. and making beats and doing things behind the scene. And I right. loved it. It was, I was being creative, being able to get my creativity out still. Right. And I didn't have to be out in, like, the, you know, the scene where everyone right. was knowing all my shit. Right. So I liked it. The whole setup is just, like, fingers. Okay. Yeah. And she became the girl. I, I I got a lot of game from Fingers and yeah. the Avila brothers. Yeah. And even Quick, DJ yeah. Quick, when I worked with him, just just watching people, um, I learned a lot. And um, I don't know. I like the behind the scenes. I like, right, right, right. And um, you you said something really quick that I just want to touch on because say that some young girl uh, wants to sing or she wants to rap, maybe she's 16, 17, 18 years old. Is it? Very hard to make it in the industry being a female. 